Hello, I'm Professor Stephen Abbott. In this series of three short videos based on the pages in my Practical Coatings website, I discuss the science of screen printing, flexo printing and gravure printing using the scientific insights developed with my colleague Professor Nick Kapoor at the University of Leeds. And in all cases, the science provides insights into key issues that worry people in these printing techniques. In the case of Flexo, it's why do 100% solids, this is a genuine micrograph of 100% solid ink, why do these 100% solids have all these holes in it? And if we print a nice right angle like this, why does this right angle have holes in it? Well, it's the same cause as that, but why does it have these lines around the edge? And this simple animation gives us deep insights. We have the rubber dot, and we have some ink on the top of it provided by the analox roller. We're not worried about how that happens. And it comes to the substrate at the top, and when it meets the substrate, obviously it starts to spread sideways as well as squashing the ink. That's the dot gain that we know about. Continue, a bit more sideways, continue a bit more, and now it's just starting to change direction. The rubber is coming away, and the dilemma is how is the ink going to split? Because the ink has a choice. It can stay on the substrate or it can stay on the rubber. In general, it will want to go 50-50. There's no good reason why it would want to be on one or the other. There's certainly no reason for 100% transfer, unless we're dealing with Teflon or silicones. So on ordinary substrates, it wants to split 50-50. In principle, it could split with a nice meniscus, just ripping down here and coming from the other end and give you a beautiful smooth print. But there isn't enough time with this flexo process, so you can already see what's starting to happen. As it comes away, the ink does not have great cohesive strength, and what happens, it starts to cavitate. These little white dots are little bubbles starting. As it comes away further, the bubbles get bigger, further, bigger, until it separates, and then you have these holes and imperfections on the printed part, which worries you, and on the unprinted part, which doesn't worry you. Let's just see that all in one go. Goes up, cavitation. And if we stop it from creating a fresh dot each time, as it goes up, you get this stuff left on the side, and I can't really show it in this animation, but when it goes up, this side material will end up printing around the edge like that. So this very simple animation, plus the insights about cavitation, explains some mysteries which have never been explained before in flexoscience.